Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Bows. Good morning. It's about 11 o'clock again, and uh, I'm going to be really busy today. I um, actually have four core batteries since the last time I went to Advanced Auto Parts and got myself five batteries. So it's about time for me to go and get some more batteries. Um, so I'm going to go to Advanced Auto Parts, then I'm going to go to Home Depot to get the paint for my Franken Tractor 2. Thank you guys so much for once again uh, participating in the second poll of the finalists to decide on what color paint job theme we're going to go with this tractor. Um, so again, it, it, it's been the, the night since yesterday um, uploading the video until today when I woke up. I was in bed, I'm like, so I had to get a pad and paper and count, <laughs> you know, jot, 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 jot. So um, it was pretty close. So white didn't do so well. Um, 10 votes for white, 16 votes for black, and a whopping 32 votes for the desert sand military Humvee paint scheme. So it's going to cost me a lot of money to get that kind of paint. That is, if I could even find it. You know, the last time I was at Home Depot, it was like a bunch of graffiti artists raided the store and bought every can of paint. There was hardly anything left, you know. So I hope that they restock since the last time I was there. Um, you're viewing me today on my new, new to me, Samsung S7 Edge galaxy cell phone that i bought on ebay for 55 bucks that's right 55 bucks why because it has like a little imperfection on the bottom of the screen there's like a white line and stuff but the screen is good i can see what's going on it works just fine and uh 55 dollars you know to record in this kind of quality and uh conveniency because it fits my lavalier I have cases for it, I have charges for it, I have all the accessories for it because I've had two other S7s. I just hope I don't drop this one, you know? So I'm gonna be recording with this one for a while and see how it goes, but uh, that iPhone that I've been using for the past two episodes, really clear, really nice, you know what I mean? Not bad, but uh, it's comparable. So we'll just use this for now. Um, I had another idea last night when I was in bed and I just couldn't sleep because I wanted to get out of bed, go to the garage and just work on it, you know? I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is now, but what does a Humvee have that this should have? <laughs> it, the ideas are just brewing in my head, you know? And I just can't stop thinking about it, you know? I have to tear uh, apart my garage looking for some things that I need to make it, you know? But I'll, I'll show you guys, uh, I'll probably leak out the uh, what I'm working on uh, in today's episode or tomorrow or whatever. It'll leak out. But uh, anyway, so I am going to Home Depot after I get my batteries. And I'm going to go find some sand paint, okay? Uh, I'm going to need, like, primer too because this is so such a dark green, you know? And so you want to first cover that up with a coat of a color change, you know, to maybe white or gray primer. And primer fills everything pretty well and covers everything up pretty well so then once I have that I can put that sand over there so there's regular rust-oleum sand paint I'm sure you know but then there's this other kind that they actually use to uh, coat tractors and that's the um, like bed liner you know how they have like black bed liner uh, for truck beds right that rugged look and it's not smooth or anything it's like rough you know but you want that because it um it protects against it whatever from the elements so they have a they have a desert sand also you know or tan you know and that would do and i could find those usually at auto parts stores but i'm going to go to home depot and see what i can find uh if they have it available so i've been looking at pictures of humvees from the military most of them well look you think about it right you're painting it sand color so that it's camouflage in the sand so that you're not easily spottable by the enemy, right? So I was thinking about just doing black wheels because I've seen some Humvees, the desert military ones, with the black wheels, right? But matted black, you know, not shiny, of course. But then um, I've seen most of them 
have the matching desert uh, color on the rims too. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to have desert color rims, desert color whatever tractor. I'm going to keep the black parts black, but I might go over it with matted black as opposed to, but I mean, this is, you know, it's been aged, so it's not even shiny anymore, so that'll do, you know. I'll see what I'll, uh, I end up doing. So, uh, hey, I want to thank all the uh, donations for the paint job. I didn't really think I was going to get too many donations. I mean, I get a buck or two here and there, you know, from you guys, and I appreciate it. Um, but 11 people between last night and today donated to the paint job, so thank you very much. Here they are. So once again, thanks a lot for donating for the paint job. I really appreciate it. Like I said, when I'm done with the paint job, I'm going to write your names on the hood in whatever design that I think is going to be like, uh, you know, kind of unique, you know. Uh, I'll have to buy a uh, black paint marker or something to really fine tip so I can get your names nice and clear, you know. Um, a lot of subscribers also told me that uh, probably five or six of you guys also mentioned that Hey, Henry, you should really cut your hood. Or they called it a fender. It's really like a hood, you know, because it's been scratching. So I'm just going to take a marker and I'm just going to, like, do that, right? It'd be kind of cool, cool modification. And just cut a piece of this hood off <laughs> so that the wheels won't rub, you know? You can't have the wheels rub because as you guys saw from yesterday's video, if I turned it, whatever, this is not even that much, you know, it's like 35 degrees, whatever. The hood was like, I'm kind of surprised that it didn't touch the, uh, the bumper, you know, but anyway, uh, I can't be screwing around just sitting here looking at it. I got to go do stuff. I got plenty of stuff to do today, man. I have to go to the backyard first because some people bought stuff on eBay. I got to get that ready. And then uh, off to Advanced Auto Parts to get the batteries and then Home Depot to get the paint. like business is booming parking lots all full over here at Home Depot just picked up my batteries and I'm gonna go check out the paint not too busy today here at uh, Home Depot not too busy at all and there's no wait either off to the paint section
So no luck, and I knew I wasn't going to find it because, damn it, the hell, they were in such short supply of everything, and um, I couldn't find the right uh, paint, um, while there was this tan color, it was gloss, it was called khaki, and it was gloss, you can't have gloss for that. Uh, there was a Caribbean sand one, but it looked too light. It looked like cream, you know? So I'm going to go to the other Home Depot, but first I'm going to go back to Advanced Auto Parts and see if they have tan bed liner. Like I said, I did get my batteries, but at Home Depot I did buy this uh, stencil kit. It has uh, A through Z on the letters, 1 through 10 on the numbers, so I could uh, spray numbers with black spray paint onto the uh, tractor so I can make my stencils. This was $5. Okay, I'm over here at my second Home Depot. Let's see if I have any luck with that. $40 for a wheelbarrow? That's cheap. Sand, but it's gloss. So I'm definitely going to have problems finding the paint that I want. Um, I think the closest one is the uh, Rustoleum Sand. Unfortunately, it's gloss. So I'm walking over to uh, Walmart. It's right next door. I'm going to go check them out. If that doesn't work out, I'm going to have to do gloss sand. You know, it's going to be a shiny Hummer. So here I am in Walmart. And they actually have these stencils that are cheaper. This is only $2.22. I could have just bought these instead of wasting $5 at Home Depot. Eh, what are you going to do? Look what I found. So there's nothing in this whole rack of stuff, right, until I get here and I actually find a Rostolian camouflage lineup. Gray, that, the green, and that's right, the desert sand is in there. I gotta go find somebody to open this up. Score, I found it, and it's not gloss. It's the actual camouflage can. Tan, green, I don't know what that is, gray, and then the almond. So these are the four colors they use for the camouflage. I just want the tan, and it looks like it has four cans, five cans. As usual, they are so understaffed here at Walmart, it's incredible. I just walked around the whole department. And I can't find anybody in the vest. I don't know if that does anything. Ooh, I do hear sounds. No, I don't. I am stoked, fellas. I did not think that I'd be able to find the camouflage flat tan set desert sand color at Walmart of all places. Two Home Depots and nothing, but we get the right one. Is that unbelievable? I'm stoked. I figured I'd just buy everything they had. <laughs> I, I knew I probably could get away with two cans, but the project that I'm making to put onto it is going to need another can, and that's for the wheels. So I've got, I just bought four cans. I know I'm going to have plenty uh, of paint. But, uh, stoked, bros. Every time I'm around here, gotta get a chocolate shake, fries, and a Big Mac. Some nuggets. Yeah! So can you believe it? I went to two Home Depots and they didn't have it. I decided just to walk over to Walmart and see if they had any paint. Sure enough, they had the camouflage paint! Stokage! Well, a couple of subscribers were giving me a hard time about the steering wheel being upside down, okay? So I just took a, the bolt out, the cover off, and look at that. Awesome. Put this right side up. And you know what? It's not going to make any difference because for some crazy reason, it moves and it'll be off center again by the time you know it. But it's pretty easy to do. I'm doing it just to humor my subscribers. 916 bolt. Put 
center cap of the steering wheel back on. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I should have kept the steering wheel off. You know why? Because I'm going to paint the entire dash the sand color. So I don't want to get the steering wheel all <laughs> sandy. So that's what I'll do. I'll keep it off. Should I paint this cover sand color too? Or should the column be... You know what? I'm going to take the column off. So everything here is going to be sand color. With the exception of the steering wheel, the steering column, uh, and the seat. Everything else is going to be uh, sand. So uh, I literally have like 10 blankets out or sheets covering all the wheels, all the parts that I don't want covered with this. I mean, the wheels I'll have to do after the body is sprayed first. But I'm getting it ready and this masking is taking forever. Hey, so how about that, huh? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't expect it to come out this good, you know? Uh, the paint is perfect. It's exactly the color that I imagined it to look. Uh, because it's matted, right, uh, not gloss, you can't really screw it up, you know what I mean? It, it doesn't drip or anything like that. I mean, as long as you don't keep it there for like three seconds or something, you know, it's not going to drip. Uh, and it's an even coat throughout. It doesn't matter if you... Spray, let go, spray, let go, spray, let go, or just spray. It doesn't matter because it's because there's no gloss in it. You can't screw it up. Uh, I mean, I love it. I think the color is fantastic. Um, I didn't need to buy any primer because this is essentially primer, which is the reason why I bought four cans. I bought the stencil kit too. I'll have to work that out. I think the stencil kit is like you have to take the uh, stuff out what you want it to to say and then you tape them together then you put it on and then you got to mask the rest of it because you don't want overspray over the stencil you know so uh that's great man uh, i'm putting all the uh, other stuff on the the knobs and the steering wheel i put back on i gotta put the control panel back on i put the lenses back on i cleaned inside uh, it was a pain in the butt to mask off the wheels. It would have been easier for me if I decided to paint the wheels black because the tires are black and I could just spray the rim and that's it. You know, I didn't have to mask it. But because I wanted to paint it desert sand, I had to mask off the black wheels. Uh, that, that took a while. It was kind of a pain. Um, whatever, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh... <sighs> 
So stencil tomorrow. <laughs> I'm making another project. I, uh, some guy was saying, hey, Henry, why don't you put a hood ornament on there? I got a hood ornament I'm going to put on there. You don't worry, okay? So I'm going to be making something like that uh, in the next day or so to put on here. I think some of you guys might know what it is. But then I'll put the stencils on tomorrow, and then uh, we'll see how this goes. Next after all that is um, I'm going to try to swap the pulley, make the pulley bigger in the front, and have this thing go much faster. As you know, today I also cut the hood so the wheels don't scrape on the hood. Um, I was watching some uh, pulley swap videos. So the pulley on this transmission is huge. I mean, I want to say it's like nine inches in diameter or something. It's huge. And it's rusty, as they all are, you know, because water gets on top of it and it's just rusted, you know. So it's difficult to get it out, you know. Uh, I'd have to take the battery out in the battery box and then try to get it out and then find the exact right bore, whether it's uh, three quarters of an inch or an inch, whatever it is, that's keyed. So essentially, I need two keyed pulleys, which I, I have none, you know. So I don't know how I'm going to weasel that. Uh, uh, some people were saying to leave the transmission or leave the crankshaft one the way it is. I think it's three inches and then chain and put the uh, smaller pulley on the transmission. But the transmission one's really tough to do, you know what I mean? So uh, I could either just leave the transmission one and put a six inch pulley on the front. That'll increase it like uh, five to eight miles per hour. I think this goes maybe five miles an hour at the very fastest. Um, and I've, I've watched that guy, uh, Chud327, that's all he does. He, he, has, he, he does pulley swaps all day. So I learned a lot from that guy. Um, and I, I haven't done too many pulley swaps, you know, so it'll be something new for me too, you know. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I feel terrible. I feel like I've got paint all over me. It's a good thing I changed clothes, you know what I mean? Otherwise, my feet, my legs would be all painty. <laughs> Thanks again to the guys who contributed to the paint job. I appreciate it very much. Your names are all going to go on this for good. Uh, and um, I appreciate all the participation from everybody. Uh, I know that uh, some of you guys might be disappointed that you wanted the white or the uh, black and all the other crazy colors, right? But uh, I have to go by what the votes are, you know what I mean? And uh, I gave it uh, another shot, you know, two tries on the votes, you know, and we had a finalist of three, you know, and uh, it was pretty much overwhelming, double for the desert sand over the um, black or the white. But uh, thanks a lot for voting, fellas. I hope you had a good time voting, you know. Um, it was certainly was an interesting two episodes for sure. Uh, thanks a lot very much. I really appreciate all your viewership too. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode of Mowers and Blowers. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. It's Henry, the Mowers and Blowers. Of course, the second I say see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers, look who shows up in front of my garage again! Unannounced! He just comes over! That's all he does! Him, him and Bobby just say, you know what, let's just go over there! Guess what? We don't have to come no more! It's Henry! I'm out with the blowers! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, fellers? What's up, Hank? See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers! <laughs>